Hello dear friends this is your personal English coach Divyam here and in this video we will be understanding an interesting fable called the spider and the fly. This you can call it a fable, you can call it a poem, you can call it a story. It's up to you. This is written by Mary Howitt. Do you know when was this published? It was published in 1828. So what does Mary Howitt wants us to understand? She wants us to beware from people who are into flattery. She wants us to take care of all the people having wicked intentions, trying to lure you into their wicked schemes by flattery. So, if we see the first line itself, will you walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. So it's just like a person, a wicked person whose intentions are evil, trying to attract you, trying to call you to get involved in their schemes or involved in their wicked intentions. So the story or poem tells us about a cute spider who's not really cute but wicked and cunning who tries to ensnare or or capture or uh, you know hypnotize a cunning fly mm -hmm. through the use of seduction and flattery so what is the main motive of this fable or a poem this poem is a cautionary tale against those who use flattery and charm to disguise their super intentions nowadays we live in the era of mobile phones and uh, there are many fake profiles and many fake callers calling you and trying to charm you into you know some attractive stuff which harm you later on now this poem was published with a subtitle called a cute version of a scary story in the new year's gift and juvenile souvenir which has a publication year of 1829 on its title page but as the title would suggest was released before new year's day and was reviewed in magazines as early as october 1828 so what is so special about this poem the first line itself as i said will you walk into my parlor now this is a, the most interesting line this is a line by which this poem is recognized now this is misquoted sometimes by other experts has stepped into my parlor well it has become a uh, aphorism something that we call in english this is used to indicate a false offer of help or friendship that is actually a trap the line has been used and parodied numerous times in various works of fiction having understood the background now we'll jump into each and every stanza and line and understand what it means so on my screen you can see the original poem on the left side with the meanings of difficult words on its right well i should tell you that this poem doesn't have that many difficult words it's a very simple poem you can easily predict and easily understand each line but for your convenience for your ease i have mentioned the meanings will you walk into my parlor said the spider to the fly so before we understand these lines have you actually seen a spider web and have you actually observed how it traps insects now my observations if you are walking on the road you know if there are branches above your head sometimes you will see something hanging from the silk thread and that is a kind of a trap for insects now these spiders they use different kinds of mechanisms in fact every animal has its own way of trapping the prey especially the uh, carnivorous ones right so similarly the spider who feeds on the insects by trapping them into its web is asking a fly the fly must be somewhere around near the uh, vicinity of the web and the spider is asking the fly will you walk into my parlor what is parlor it's a sitting room in a private house so it's like a private house of the spider the spider in its web usually is found somewhere in the center and if there is slightest vibration or movement 
in the spider net it immediately rushes to that location it is very very sensitive and grabs the prey it entangles the prey into its uh, you know web it produces silk more and more silk and makes a covering on top of that insect and gradually it feeds on it so an attractive offer made by the spider to the fly will you walk into my room this is the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy so another way to lure the fly this is the best room you will ever see in your life what is the meaning of spy spy is to secretly monitor the actions there are spies of the foreign countries in india and indian spies in another countries so the spider is selling the fly this is the best room that you might have ever visited in your life the way into my parlor is up a winding stair and I have many pretty things to show when you are there so the spider is trying to convince as best as it can and is trying to tell the fly that as soon as you enter my house my parlor my private room there will be a winding stairs it's like a big house with a lot of stairs in it and as you step on it and reach the top after the stairs there are many things which you would like would you like to come into my private room oh no no said the little fly to ask me is in vain to ask me to come into your parlor is useless in vain means useless for who goes up your winding stair can never come down again so as i said the fly is cunning the fly knows the consequences of entering the spider's nasty web so it says no i'm not gonna enter your private house because i've heard that the person who gets into your or tries to climb your stair never comes down again i'm sure you must be weary dear with soaring up so high so now the spider is trying its best it is telling the fly that you are flying at so many places you're sitting on so many things you're working hard you must be tired what is weary weary is tired and he's addressing the fly by dear dear fly you must be tired as you're flying up so high why don't you rest on my little bed i have a bed for you will you rest upon my little bed said the spider to the fly there are pretty curtains drawn around the sheets are fine and thin so you see this is all a kind of a personifications a fly doesn't need a bed a fly doesn't need sheets or pillows like we do we as humans do but this is mary howitt's way of explain things to us this is the way mary wants us to know that there are people in the world who try to flatter you and tell you that i have something you like I have exactly the thing you like would you come to me okay so the spider is selling the fly that in my house there are amazing curtains and there are best sheets fine and thin just like you like it and if you like to rest a while if you want to rest you've been flying so high up in the air if you want to rest I'll snugly tuck you in I'll comfortably push you into the sheets and you'll be able to rest oh no no said the little fly for I have often heard it said they never never wake again who sleeps upon your bed so the sheets and all which the spider is referring is nothing but the silk thread which it uses to suffocate to trap the insects yes so the cunning fly is aware of the consequences and it denies upfrontly and says no no i have often heard it said from my fellow fly friends from my insects insect friends the other mates that whoever comes to your bed to take rest they do not uh, really wake up said the cunning spider to the fly so the spider is equally tricky and cunning dear friend what shall i do to prove the warm affection i've always felt for you the spider said i love you so much and i don't know how to prove my love for you what should i tell you what should i do i have within my pantry good store of all that's nice so let's look at the first stanza the first stanza 
the spider is trying to indicate all the things that the fly needs first of all it says i have a nice room if you come here you'll feel great i have a nice bed so if you're tired take rest now it's talking about the pantry now pantry is a nice word you should learn pantry is something that has uh, usually food items but it is actually a storeroom and the spider says i have a pantry in my web so if you come you can have nice things to eat and nice things that you can use i have within my pantry good store of all that's nice i'm sure you're very welcome will you please to take a slice so come down to my pantry have some good stuff i have some amazing stuff for you please come i love you so much oh no no said the fly kind sir that cannot be so, so the fly is saying no nicely i've heard what's in your pantry i do not wish to see the fly is aware about the fact that the spider's pantry is dangerous it is full of other dead insects so the fly says i do not want to see your pantry i know the things that you have gathered or harnessed in your pantry they are not pleasing i'm not pleased by your pantry i'm not coming to your pantry sweet creature said the spider you're witty and you're wise how handsome are your gauzy wings how brilliant are your eyes witty is humorous gauzy transparent so you must have observed flies they have gauzy wings transparent wings so now the spider is trying to use the fox's method of praising someone to get something it says you look good i like your appearance i like your great wings and look at your eyes so have you seen the eyes of a fly this is how they look they are actually wonderful apart from the fable even the wings the wings are equally beautiful so now the spider is trying to use some other methods by convincing the fly that it looks great i have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf so the spider is telling the fly that i have a parlor i have a private room in the private room there are so many amazing things and there's a shelf on which there's a mirror and uh, if you will step in on if you step in one moment dear you shall behold yourself so if you come to my private room and look in the mirror you would see how nice you are how beautiful you are so come to my private room and you will not feel bad you'll feel amazing i thank you gentle sir she said for what's for what you're pleased to say and bidding you good morning now i'll call another day what is bidding it's an offer you have a chapter in your syllabus based on bid can you guess the name all right it is nothing but the chinese statue isn't it all right so bid is an offer and uh, offer made by the spider to the fly so the fly is selling the spider so many nice offer you you've made but i think i'll call it a day which means i'll come tomorrow so i wish you good morning right now i'll meet you tomorrow and goodbye the spider turned him around about and went inside his den so spider could not convince the fly so he goes back to his private parlor for well he knew the silly fly would soon be back again because of the praises the spider had uh, shown some fake and false dreams some commitments to the fly and the poor fly felt like i mean would feel like meeting the spider again because of this and this was already known by the cunning spider so he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly what is wove it's, it comes from weave to knit subtle is fine a nice web made of silk in a little corner corner of his web sly sly is cunning and set his table ready to dine upon the fly so he knew that 
of all the things I've said and of everything that I've shown, this silly fly would turn up tomorrow again. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing. The spider started singing. Come hither, hither, pretty fly with a pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. So again, the spider is making all his attempts to capture the fly. Hither is here. This is a traditional word in English. Pretty fly, beautiful fly with, with a pearl. What is a pearl? Pearl is a gem, a type of a gem. Silver wings. Are the wings of silver? No, they are transparent and gauzy. But the spider is using all his tactics to praise this fly and capture it. Your robes are green and purple. So what is a robe? Robe is nothing but a loose cloth. And if you've seen a fly closely, it looks something like this. You know, there is bluish green color. So the spider is trying to praise the looks of a fly. Your clothes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. So what is a crest? It's this little thing right here. It's called a crest. To be specific, it is a uh, yes, tuft of feather for our skin on the head of bird or another animal or other animal. So praising the looks, he says, you have a pearl, you have silver wings, your clothes are nice of green and purple and there's a crest, your eyes are like diamond, bright, but mine are dull as lead. So this is how spider's eyes look like. They're obviously not as dull as lead. Now this is just a way how a spider convinces a fly. Now these pictures that you see on my screen are pretty scary but in general they look like this. So the spider says you have everything that's great. Mine isn't that good. Alas alas how very soon this silly little fly Hearing his willy flattering words came slowly fitting by. Eventually, the fly gets the words, hears the words of the spider, which is nothing but flattery and charm, which is fake as we know, and comes by, comes near the spider. With buzzing wings, she hung aloft, then nearer and nearer drew. Aloft means I've missed out writing the meanings here and I have written it down real quick so with buzzing wings she hung aloft then near and nearer drew so what is aloft up in or into the air overhead so hearing all the praises hung comes from hang drew comes from draw and this sentence indicates how the fly got tricked by the flattery of the spider thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple color hue is color so the fly was thinking what if i get all the things i want from the spider's parlor or spider's pantry what if uh, i can see myself in the mirror that the spider is claiming he has so he it got trapped and thinking only of a crested head which the spider praised poor foolish thing the fly was cunning but not as cunning as the spider at last up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast thinking about the praises that the spider rained upon the fly the fly came overhead into the web slowly and gradually and the spider jumped onto it fiercely in a savage manner in an aggressive manner and held her fast he dragged her up in his winding stair into his dismissal den what is dismissal causing mood of gloom or depression den is a wild mammal's hidden home a lair so he dragged the fly into his parlor or room when his little parlor but she never came out again so what happens have you seen a spider grabbing the insect 
so this is a spider's web this is a spider itself waiting for the prey and here came the prey this is the insect and yes the prey is captured as you can see now it's time to entrap it by the silk that it produces all the time you can consider this as a poor little fly who got trapped in the flattery of the wicked spider and now dear little children so Mary is addressing you and me as a reader who may this story read so rearrangement of words here who may read this story to idle silly flattering words I pray you never give heed I should write the meaning of heed what is heed heed is attention a -T, t e n Mary is praying for us as readers I pray you never give attention unto never give attention to evil counselor a person trained to give guidance close heart and ear and eye and take a lesson from the tale of spider and the fly nice set of rhyming words fly eye read heed yeah so Mary is requesting us please do not pay attention to people who are trying to charm you who are trying to flatter you by saying nice things pretty easy poem I hope you've understood if not let me know in the comment section and Professor DC will respond to you as soon as he can. I thank you and I hope you have a great day.